Nora Sandigo. Uh, for those who don't know, Nora Sandigo is the legal guardian to, let me make sure I get this right, 1,252 children whose parents have either been deported from the United States or are in the process of being deported in the United States through her organization, the Nora Sandigo Foundation. She helps take care of all of these children who end up with no parents here in the United States because of deportation. Nora, thank you very much for coming on the Brad and Squeeze Show. We appreciate your time. How in the world, we'll get into your story, but how in the world do you take care of 1,252 children? Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the invitation yeah. to participate in your program. Um, well, it just happened. Immediately I came to this country, I started working with uh, the community, with the immigrant community directly through uh, church work service, and then we founded our own organization to work with the community. And you've been, so you've been doing this for how many years now? 30 years. You came to the United States. You, you were not born in the U.S. Where are you from? I'm from Nicaragua. When did you come to the United States? In 1988. In 1988. And are you a U.S. citizen now? Yes, I'm an American citizen. Tell me about the first instance that you started off helping children. It uh, started because uh, a family were passing through difficulties because of immigration. Uh, she was detained and went to a detention center in Texas. The lady called me from the detention center and ask uh, for if I can protect uh, the children in case that something happened. She was supported, but, but then later, two kids came to my to my office and stayed with me forever, until now. now. Now, you obviously don't have a big enough home to house 1,252 children. Who is watching these children on a regular day-to-day -day basis? Well, I don't house... Uh, all of them, but uh, we have a group of volunteers and donators who are always uh, working with us, helping us with everything. So you not only you you not only help all of these children and help finance to raise all of these children, you find willing volunteers to help raise these children and take these children into their homes. Is that correct? Yes, most of them are with uh, one of their relatives, their own relative. Uh huh. But we for them uh, giving or providing food, cloth, everything, advice. We, we provide uh, also doctors, nurses. We have uh, everything in the group of volunteers and they have, that's my work, to work for the children, to protect the children in any way this possible. And you make sure that these children go to school and that they graduate from high school? Our children go to school. And uh, some of our children are in in universities right now, we have a uh, wonderful success stories of these children becoming professionals. Tell me, tell me a success story about a child whose parents got deported and is now a professional that you have assisted. Well, right now we have um, Cecia. Her parents were deported since 2009, and now she's in Georgetown University, and she's, she will become um, a lawyer. Wow. So have you ever seen instances where parents got deported and they were able to be reunited with their children and come back to America? Or you don't see that often? That takes so much time. That takes 10 years to have a waiver to return to this country once that they are deported. And what do you see, because you deal with these children on a day-to-day -day basis, you are in fact their legal guardian. I understand your organization, you know, helps feed them, clothe them, give them school supplies. They're being raised by other family members or concerned citizens who just want to help these children. How do you see their psychological impact in growing up? These are, in fact, U.S. citizens who are being separated from their family. How do you see their psychological impact of being separated? That is horrible. It gives problems to the children, emotional problems. And sometimes uh, I think uh, that will be forever because it's a, it's a pain, it's a tragedy in every mind, uh, in every, uh, every child. Um, we try to, to talk with this one, and also they have advisors, and they have, uh, they have doctors and everything, but they, they are so affected by the deportation of, of their parents. 
I had to leave my family behind and had to live in a different country all alone. I know person um, how it feels to live without two parents. And I think this feeling is what has compelled me to take action and defend all of these children who are facing the horrible reality of being separated from their parents. So right now you're helping to raise financially over 1,252 U.S. citizen children. Uh, you help feed them, you help clothe them, you help uh, them with their school supplies, their medical, their psychological um, and, and social issues. How do you keep this organization going? How, who's, who's giving money to help, to help for all of these children? Through the support of the community. We have volunteers, we have friends, we have a, a lot of people um, in the whole country that is trying to help every one child. And it's beautiful to see how many people are working. Um, it's the community working for, for their community. This is a show about helping people to achieve their American dreams. You're helping children whose dreams may have been shattered because their parents are separated from them. You're helping to help build them up. Obviously, you're not a replacement for their parents, but you're doing the best and your organization is doing the best you can in replacement of their parents who got deported. Tell me what your American dream is. What would you like to see happen uh, uh, with immigration, with your organization? Tell me what you want, what you'd like to see accomplished. Well, I have many dreams. One of these dreams is to continue to protect the children and make sure they all uh, live better lives. And I want to build a big house and call it their home to see that these children and all the children in the world live happily, their families, in loving homes. Yes, and that dream of the dreamers uh, needs to become true because uh, they deserve to live in this country. It's the only country that they own. Well, I, I agree with you. I, I think if you have law-abiding parents who just got caught up in the immigration system, they shouldn't be separated from their family. We want to see families uh, united. That's what makes America great. That's what makes the social fabric of America great. The social fabric is broken when parents are separated from their children. I think it's a great dream that hopefully one day people will see that they're being destructive to these families by separating U.S. citizen children from their parents. Hopefully somebody in politics is watching us. In the meantime, Nora, how can we help your organization? What can we do? They can go directly to our page, uh, Nora Sandigo Children's Foundation .org. You can help by donating food, grains, pampers, school supplies, but also you can help supporting our dream to have a house for the children. You can help us by volunteering your time. Nora, I really appreciate your time joining us. You are a true inspiration. You are an American hero. You are people that we want in America. And, and your story is an inspiration for everybody that you have taken your entire life's endeavor to help what is tens of thousands of people. That's really changing people's lives. And uh, I know they appreciate it. I know the people watching appreciate it. I hope the whole world hears about your organization. Congratulations to you. And uh, thank you. And thank you very much for joining us.